All right, so uh, review. We've covered quite a bit so far. We did first and most important rule, knowing when to end your pain, because now everything else beyond that is relative to that first rule. Second, just pattern in general. Whether it's, uh, whether it's the major scale, it's minor scale, it's relative minor scale, the blues scale, the pentatonic scale, you know, get a jazz book. Because that's why this instrument, even though it looks very intimidating, once you know the science behind it, it's actually, it's a really fairly easy instrument. It's just the time you put into it. Um, so get a scale book. And then the stuff that I'm not teaching you, you can just do on your own. Because once again, if you get a book, if you get a book and you learn one scale for one key, you can do it in any of them. It's just taking the time to do it. Um, the last thing that I want to leave you guys with is I'm going to teach you guys cordage or chords uh, for the same reason when you know when you play a piano, you know you don't just play one notes. You can bring other notes into it to give it a more full sound. You can do the same thing with a pan. So we've done once again. We're going to go with F. Here's an F major scale. that same scale but with chords okay so and you're gonna have to bear with me I'm gonna have to kind of go back and forth because I can't do it offhand is the first one's gonna be F and A okay and if you wanted to you could do A and C you could do C and a high F That, but if you're just going to do the, the, the chords of the scale, it's going to be F, A, it's going to be B flat and G, B flat and G, the next one's going to be C and, no, yeah, C and A, the next one, which, okay, C and A, C and A, the next one's going to be B flat and a high D, B flat, high D, the next one's going to be C and a high E, C and a high E. The next one's going to be a high F, yeah, a high F and the high D, which means high F, high D, inner notes. The next one's going to be a high G and a high E, high G, high E. And then we've completed the octave to a high F and a high A. High F, high A. So, it sounds like this. And if you want to be fancy, for the same reason as a F major is relative minor, I can now travel down into minor chords to drag it down. So F, and I'm going to do a low E and a low G to a low D and a low F. Right. So, same rules apply. Knowing that pattern of that now you could do all of them. You know, if I wanted to do a, a G major chordage, G and B, you know, and then A and C, but I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. So before it gets confusing, that's what you're going to want to do. And then just, once again, practice all of them. I mean, E, E, G sharp, yeah, E and G sharp, A and F sharp, B and, B and, D sharp, I don't know, I'm not, once again, I, I can't do it. So, that's what you're going to want to practice. Uh, now that you're on to chords, um, the last couple things that I'll teach is really, if you get a chance, you're going to want to, the next thing, and the final, honestly, the last thing that you're going to probably want to learn is chromatics, which is basically taking your low note, and you're going to, your lowest note to your highest note, and you're going to just go up. Uh, I didn't realize how important that was when I first started playing until a guy really taught me the importance of it. But if you get a chance, and if you haven't done it already in your pan, you're going to want to do chromatics. Which chromatics is, is it's, it's, it, it's white, black, white, black, white, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, white, so on and so forth. Because there's a lot of times if you start soloing and start playing, 
regardless, and you'll learn it, you'll feel that you'll know what you're talking about, you'll know it when you do it, but there is times where no matter where you're at, and really phenomenal pan players can play any, any note in any of the pan in any key. They just know when to properly do a chromatic, and they'll just up it. For the same reason that blue scale, once again, F majors relative blue scales D. Uh, the G to G sharp. Okay. You want to learn your chromatics. Um, chromatics, just you know, just start low, work your way up high. You can figure that out. Um, the only thing that I do, the last thing I'll teach you is the guy who taught me is knowing when to transition your hands over, which D to D sharp to E. And then with that same right hand, I cross from E to F, and then F sharp with my left hand, and then I keep going up, because you're going to kind of get into this rotation thing, but at some point you're going to have to cross over. So when I do it, which helps, and it's a pattern which you learn, you just get used to doing it, is I cross from the E to the F, and I cross from my B to my C. I do the same with high notes. So you keep going, you know, ding back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you start early with from the E to the F, and then F sharp, yada yada yada, all the way up to the B to the C. Then I cross over again, and I do that same pattern with inside the bowl itself. And then there'll be times you just go up and go down and go up and go back and don't no rhyme or reason. Just get really comfortable with your chromatics, and you should be good. Um, I hope this video helped. Happy pan playing. Any questions, right? I'll do my best. I'm kind of an out of sight, out of mind guy, so I'm not going to, you know, I don't know if I'm just going to throw the video up, but I'll try to keep an eye on any comments. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you become a better pan player than I am. And if anything, you know, I hope you had a good time. So thank you very much and take care.